always fresh, every day. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. U.S. Treasury Department has a warning for Chrysler. Get it together or else, and make it soon. We're gonna have more. Also, Chevrolet preps a special edition Corvette, a homemade McLaren F1 redefines DIY, and Audi celebrates its 100th with a secret mystery car. I'm Derek D, and you're watching Fast Lane Daily. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Fast Lane Daily with Derek D, always fresh. The New York Times reports today the feds are giving Chrysler a deadline of April 30th to come up with a viable business plan. That plan has to have the nod from both the United Auto Workers Union and Fiat Group, the Italian car company whose possible acquisition of a stake in Chrysler has been well publicized. The Times reports Treasury is directing Chrysler to work up a Chapter 11 bankruptcy filing as soon as next week. That could mean a court-ordered breakup of the company is at hand. Though some say the move is just to pressure Chrysler and its creditors to settling their financial arrangements outside of court. So, we'll see. And if you're among those who follow a particular American sports car from Bowling Green, Kentucky, this one's for you. Chevrolet announced today the return of the Corvette Grand Sport. That's a heritage nameplate recalling race-bred Corvette models of the early 1960s and a more recent limited edition model of the 1990s. The new Grand Sport will match the Corvette 6.2 liter LS3 V8 with a track prep suspension and wide body kit that makes room for wider tires. Chevrolet says all that will enable 1G cornering and a two-tenths of a second decrease in 0-60 to 60 time. The new Grand Sport will come in 6-speed, manual or automatic. No word yet on pricing, but Chevy says the 2010 Grand Sport will come in both coupe and convertible styles. You like that. And score another one for Polish ingenuity. Okay, score one. Ah, oh, oh, come, on. come on, I'm just kidding. Half the FLD staff is Polish, right, Jeff? Fuck you. All right. Anyway, just like the American guy who built the Lamborghini Countach in his basement, a Polish guy has taken on an even more ambitious automotive replica. It's the McLaren F1. So how do you build the one in a million Macca at home? Apparently lots of fiberglass, scrap metal, and the V12 out of an expired BMW. From the latest photos, it's obvious the practical pull isn't quite done, and we're not sure F1 mastermind Gordon Murray would approve of the construction, but you can't mess with initiative. Yes, you can. You can find out more on those and other stories at the FLD News Feed. That's fastandaily.com slash feed. Huzzah! And don't forget to subscribe to Fast and Daily on YouTube. Also, friend us on Facebook. Next up, comment of the week, FLD Tours, and Audi says a secret mystery model is set for unveiling. What is it? You just have to wait for the internet rumor mill, and that's coming up after this. Uh, it sucked. Derek D puts the duty in Jerry Dude. Yeah. Welcome back. It's Friday, so it's Commenter of the Week time. Oh, it's the comment cow. With the bag. Okay, Alan, you can just get up. Let's go. Comments! This comment comes from Artisano787 about this past Monday's episode. He said, okay, two things. Number one, I'm glad to see that the filthy rich executives that are driving their respective companies to the ground with decision-making skills comparable to those of chimps on acid are getting a discounted version of the Phantom. And number two, this word sounds a lot like mantis, which is what my girlfriend calls my underwear. Other than that, awesome show. Well, Artisano, first off, I would love to see chimps on acid make any type of decision. Second, the correct way to say this word is Monty Day. So, now you know. Good luck with your whole man panties, or as your girlfriend likes to say, your manties. Let's move on. Keep those comments flowing, all right, people? We like to cop those styles. Audi kicks off its 100th birthday this summer with ceremony at the company's headquarters in Ingolstadt, Germany. Among the dignitaries on hand for the four-day celebration will be German Chancellor Angela Merkel. Merkel. Merkel along with a very special new model. That from Audi spies who say the company will use that event to unveil a long-awaited high-performance model. All signs point to the Audi RS5. See all the signs? Insiders say the RS5 will get power from a twin turbocharged version of the company's 4.2 liter V8, producing a range of 500 horsepower. And where it is, that'll be hooked to the company's seven-speed S-Tronic gearbox with power sent to all four wheels by way of Audi's latest rear-biased Quattro system. Word is it'll be enough to get the RS5 from 0 to 62 in 4.5 seconds. No word yet from Audi, but mark your calendars for July 16th. 
And the very laid back Matt Chisillo from Zero to 60 Magazine recently got a few days with BMW's latest torque monster, the 335D. That's on FLD Tours right now. Hi, I'm Matt Silva from Zero to 60 Magazine. We're here with FL Detours, and we have the new BMW 335 Diesel. We are now inside BMW 335 diesel sedan. Three liter inline six, very similar to that of the 335i, where that has twin turbos and then two small turbos that spool equally. This is actually a sequential setup. There is a soul crushing 425 foot pounds of torque, which is a major improvement over the 300 in the 335i. Not a second slower than the 335i, however, you're going to make up for that around town with great gas mileage, which isn't really fun, but I guess if you've lost your job, that's a good thing to do. Our base price is $43,900, and as this one is equipped, it's $52,000, so you could pay $52,000 for a very fun, very efficient, and let's see if we can give a little throttle here, very fast diesel car, or you can pony up a few more dollars and get yourself a proper fast car like an M3. So as we drive around here in the Cloister, which is the northern end of Manhattan, people are probably noticing this car, not just because it's handsome with the updated front end for 2009, which is also shared on the estate version of the 3 Series. There's also heavy signage on the car, talk about efficiency dynamics. Uh, also advertising that this can go 580 miles per tank when driven on the highway. That's pretty darn good. In fact, you'll probably have to stop to go to the bathroom before you need to get gas. And by gas, I mean diesel, because this is a diesel car. Thanks, Matt. Yes, traction control is a killer of burnouts. Well, that about does it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. It's Friday. I'm going to the beach this weekend. I don't know about you because I don't know where you all live. So, have a good one. I'm out of here. Next New Networks needs your vote. Your favorite shows are up for a People's Voice Award. Best Remix. Best Variety. How-To and DIY. And Best Editing. Voting closes April 30th.